Let us all please kneel for the Horatio Imperata for peace. God, our Heavenly Father, Lord of peace and justice, we humbly come before you during this time of escalating geopolitical tensions in our part of the world. Through the years, you have sustained our faith in you as a nation. It is our faith in your divine providence that has made us survive the countless natural and human caused calamities that have come our way in our history as a people. Spare us, Lord, for the horror, from the horrors of war. Hear our pleas as we cry out to you. Have mercy on us, Lord. Rescue us from the malevolent forces that influence world leaders. For we believe that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We pray for our leaders entrusted with making crucial decisions for our nation. We place all our hopes in you, seeking your forgiveness and mercy for the times when our fears and suspicions have tainted our perceptions with ethnic biases and prejudices verging on racism. We earnestly pray, Lord, that you make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us bring love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever, amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings, protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, that we may be worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and be sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit 
that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace, you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord made us, we belong to him. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are. His people, the flock he tends. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator. Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do? For I do not have space to restore my harvest. And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grains and other goods. And I shall say to myself, now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Our Gospel opens with a person going to Jesus, asking him, Teacher, 
tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. Somebody is asking Jesus to help him because it seems like he is in conflict because of inheritance problems. And you know, dear brothers and sisters, sadly, these kinds of situations still exist even until now. In my ministry as a priest, how many times would I listen to people talking to me about their problems because they are fighting with their brother, they are fighting with their mother or their uncle or their auntie because of their property, because of their inheritance. Sometimes we even see situations like this in the news. But do not think that this is just a problem for the rich because even poor people, even if it is just fighting over who owns the caldero or who owns the, the piece of uh, bed or a piece of chair, people can still fight over material possessions. I remember when we were children, we would have arguments just because we think that our sibling has a bigger piece of the pie or a bigger piece of the pizza. Yes, our greed, our attachment to material things really affects many of our day-to-day -day decisions. In our everyday lives, sometimes we are not even realizing it. We make so many decisions because of our materialism, because of our greed, because of our attachment to our material possessions. And Jesus is telling us in the gospel to let go, not to be attached to our material possessions, that we should value what is more important and what is more important our relationships. You know, as I grow older in my ministry as a priest, there came a point that when people come to me with these kinds of problems, I tell them, then let go. Father, it's a piece of property worth 40 million. Let go. Let your brother or your sister have everything. Are you comfortable in your life? Are your needs met? Will you allow fighting and arguments and even lawsuits over this piece of property destroy your relationship with your brother or your sister? Let go of that. Let them have everything. Because Jesus is telling us all of these things eventually will turn to dust. All of these things are not important in our life here on earth. Jesus tells us in the gospel, we are being foolish if we attach ourselves to our material possessions. Jesus tells us to store treasures for ourselves here on earth that matters to God. And what is that? Our relationships our love and care for our brothers and sisters. May we recognize, dear brothers and sisters, what is important in our life. It is not our material possessions. Rather, it is the relationship that we build with our brothers and sisters. Let us all stand. Foolish indeed is the man who only stores up and enjoys the treasures of the earth. For he will soon leave those behind, and he will not have treasures in heaven. Let us take care to guard against all greed. As we say, Lord, deliver us from all greed. Lord, deliver us from all greed. That people who spend their lifetime accumulating riches may realize that their wealth will not profit them anything and that they will forfeit their very soul at the end 
we pray. Lord, deliver us from all greed, that we may be poor in spirit, living a plain and austere life, and configure ourselves to Jesus, who, though rich, made himself poor. We pray. Lord, deliver us from all greed, that people who refuse the invitation of Jesus to follow him because of fear of giving up the comfort and pleasures of life may realize that there is only sadness at the end. We pray. Lord, deliver us from all greed, that we may realize that the only true tragedy in life is to forfeit our very soul in the end because we focused on gaining the world, we pray. Lord, deliver us from all greed, that those who bear the weight of sickness, loneliness, and poverty may unite their suffering with that of Christ for the salvation of humanity, we pray. Lord, deliver us from all greed, Father, may we never exchange our salvation for anything that the world offers. Give us the courage to follow Christ in his suffering so that we can share in the joy of his victory over sin and death. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Sebastian, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.